Let's use our Foxit application to create a security policy. Now earlier, in an earlier demonstration, I created a digital ID slash certificate for my own account. I have a new document open up here and I want to create a policy to sign this document and other documents. So from our Protect, we're going to come down here to the Secure Document option and we're going to look at security policies. So notice I have two choices here, a password protection policy or a certificate protection policy. I've already entered a name of digital ID, but there's actually no details for the certificate protection policy. So let's edit the details and import the certificate that I had created before. So there is the certificate. Now using that certificate, what permissions do I want to allow or disallow? Notice here. Let's go to permissions. I get a pop-up about not all applications support it. No printing and no changes except for filling in forms. Screen readers will be able to read this. What encryption algorithm do I want to use? I'll leave 128 and I'm going to say OK. So that particular ID will be used for this policy. Do I want it to apply to this document? I'm going to apply it to this document. And again, until I save the document, I won't see it. And once I've got that, I'm going to close the document. Now let's have a look. Security properties. Notice the certificate protection has been applied to the document. And if I go back, once I save this document, it will now be protected. Now let's close that and open it up again. And notice the password and the email that I put in the digital certificate with. So this is now digitally signed and you'll notice with the edit I don't have access. And that's how I create a security profile using a digital ID and Foxit. If you found this informative, please like and subscribe.